The overall goal of this technique is to create planar and non-planar three-dimensional paper microfluidic devices that are able to be unfolded during construction and after use through the patterning of aerosol adhesive. This method opens up a brand new design space for paper microfluidics by removing constraints which previously kept researchers from fabricating out of plane channel networks. The primary advantages of this technique are that it significantly reduces the amount of adhesive applied during the fabrication of paper microfluidic devices and that it enables the construction of non-planar three-dimensional paper microfluidic circuits. First, print an array of each layer for the device onto filter paper using a solid ink printer. Place each filter paper on a hot plate at 170 degrees Celsius for two minutes to melt the wax-based ink and allow it to fully penetrate into the paper, forming hydrophobic barriers. Once the paper has cooled, put a different dye color in each of the branches of layer 3 using a micropipette. Four microliter aliquots of 5 millimolar dyes will suffice. Now, begin the construction. First, clamp the bottommost layer between the stencil and a stiff backing, such as a piece of plate glass. Ensure that the stencil is flat against the paper to minimize spray shadows. Then, set a metronome to 180 beats per minute and spray adhesive from approximately 24 centimeters away for four beats. Move the can across the stencil in four even motions. If the can is moved too slowly, the adhesive will...